What's the one thing that whores do versus scale models of famous buildings and picking teeth have in common? A toothpick. Toothpicks are the oldest instrument for dental cleaning, dating to about 1.8 million years ago. The toothpick might not be a big deal or the most important thing out there. However, these humble sticks remain as beneficial as ever. So, how are the toothpicks made from a birch tree before we pick them off a shelf? Let's explore. Step one, the log stage. The process of making a toothpick begins with birch logs. Now you might wonder why we choose birch as a raw material. There are two main reasons for that. First, no other reconstructed toothpick has been made that matches birch for its strength as well as its low cost. We occasionally see plastic toothpicks, but their use is discouraged since they are hard on the gums. Secondly, toothpicks have to be odorless and still have sufficient stiffness to provide leverage, but not so stiff as to under yielding in the mouth. That's where birch comes in. So in this step, bundles of birch logs will be dispatched to the toothpick factory. Then these hefty wooden logs are lifted by grippers into debarker. Most toothpicks manufacturers tend to steam the birch logs first. This makes it easier to cut and taper them. Since we don't require the bark and fabrication processes, it is removed by the machine. The debarker operates in two stems. The log is transformed into a smooth, barkless cylinder in the two passes of the blade. This makes it easier to milk and work with. However, even though the bark is not needed, it is still not discarded. Instead, it is sold to a neighboring factory, where it will be used as fuel. Once we are done with the log stage, it is time to proceed to the next step of the process. Step 2. The Unraveling Stage Now it's time to veneer the logs. This means that each log is peeled into a thin sheet. It's sort of like unrolling a roll of paper towels. Once the birch log has been debarked, it is time to transport it into the unraveling machine. As the name of the machine implies, the log is stripped like a paper mache using 12 sharp blades. Each wooden strip is approximately 106 mm thick. A log of wood is transported to the unraveling machine that unravels the smooth syndelic log as if it's a roll of paper. The 12 blades are so remarkably fine that the wooden strips that emerge from the unraveling stage are each 6.3 centimeters wide and 1.06 millimeters thick. In fact, these blades will be put to work again later to cut the toothpicks. Now let's move on to the next step in the process. Step 3. The Billet Stage When the 12 blades of the unraveling machine form the wooden rolls of strips, the end result is a billet. A number of tiny cutters are used to trim the ends of the billets. Sharp knives are mounted into many places on the machine that the thin ends of the toothpicks are on. The next step is using a roller to roll the cut, taper strips that are known as billets, and they each weigh around 1.8 kilos. Once that's done, the billets or the completed strips are removed manually and carried over to a puncher. Step 4. The Cutting Stage Alright, so the next step is cutting. Once the billets have been removed, they are taken to a puncher. This machine expertly cuts the billet strips into small toothpick strips at the rate of 8,000 toothpicks per second. There are two ways in which we can shape the toothpicks the way we desire. First off, the flat toothpicks are simply stamped out of the sheets. On the other hand, the round toothpicks require a little more effort. They have to be cut into oversized blanks and then fed into milling machines known as the rounder. This grinds down the toothpicks into little javelins. This is a speedy process in which the punch works rapidly. The knives cutting the billets come down 2,000 times per minute. The end result is a total of 8,000 toothpicks in just 60 seconds. Pretty astounding. However, we still have a long way to go before the toothpicks are ready to be used. At this stage, they are still just small, soft pieces of wood. So now it's time to move on to the most critical step of the toothpick making process. Step 5. The Finishing Stage As we mentioned before, the toothpicks are still not ready to be used since they're too soft. Now the cut and tapered small wooden sticks fall through a chute into a container. This is the stage where the toothpicks are dried and hardened. For this purpose, they are placed in the dryer where they will be hardened for 12 hours at 121 degrees centigrade. Once the humble little sticks have been thoroughly hardened and wrung off all the moisture, it is time to polish them. Now they are transferred to the polisher. With the help of talcum powder and relentless friction, the toothpicks are polished and smothered for another 4 hours in a giant container. Once these hardened tooth instruments have been buffered and even to perfection, they are removed from the polisher and then passed through a stiffer that removes damaged toothpicks. 
After the stiffer has filtered out all the wooden rejects, the acceptable toothpicks are good to carry on to the next part. They are sorted into an air blower that further dries the pointy little sticks until they are nearly ready to be used. This brings us to the last step, which will actually blow your mind. Step 6. The Packing Stage Now that we have removed all the damaged toothpicks and acquired all the perfect ones, it's time for the last stage. The toothpicks we have selected are placed onto two conveyors next to an air blowing system. The conveyor counts and packages them at a rate of 747,500 per hour. The drums positioned at the end of the conveyors are there for quality assurance. After that, the perfect toothpicks are transported to an automatic packager. The purpose of the packager is to count all the toothpicks before we can proceed to package them. Once we're done counting, it's time to manufacture the boxes so we can place our finished products in them. Then the number of toothpicks in every single box is counted. It's important to note that the automatic packager is calibrated to play 650 toothpicks per container. In just one hour, the packager produces approximately 1,150 boxes an hour. This means that the machine handles over 700,000 toothpicks every hour. Okay, so now that we're done with cutting, polishing, and packaging the toothpicks, what's up next? Well, according to every client's requirement, the factory wraps the toothpicks differently. Some of these titan wooden sticks are individually wrapped so they can be used in restaurants and airlines. At the same time, some toothpicks are grouped together as a bundle to be sold at household essentials. The time it takes for a machine to wrap 1,200 toothpicks is just one minute. To save time and energy, the factory relies on the device to automatically glue, wrap, and cut the paper of the packages containing the toothpicks. It's insane how something as mundane as a toothpick requires so much effort once to dive into the process. For example, a facility can produce a staggering number of 20,217,600 toothpicks every single day, and all of it comes from a few birch logs. Bonus! How to make toothpicks from bamboo? Although we commonly use birch to make toothpicks, it's also a good idea to learn how to make them out of bamboo sticks. Bamboo toothpicks are widely used in many Asian countries, especially China and Japan. Soft words such as bamboo has been used to produce toothpicks in China since the Qing Dynasty. Bamboos are an excellent raw material because they are renewable and can easily be harvested annually, so they're an ideal source of softwood for light uses such as toothpicks. Now the process for bamboo toothpicks is relatively similar to birch toothpicks. Small production units operate commercial toothpick making machines, which are composed of a whole set of bamboo processing machines. These toothpick machines are also named the toothpick production line or bamboo toothpick processing plants. Now the complete line for producing some high quality bamboo toothpicks, including the sawing machine, stripping machine, bamboo sheet slicing machine, stick forming machine, stick set machine, a toothpick chopping machine, toothpick polishing machine, toothpick sharpening machine, toothpick packaging machine, and etc. The toothpicks are produced by splitting the bamboo clombs into thin splits that are then split further into circular rods, which are 2 millimeters in diameter. These syndelic rods are then perfectly cut to length, polish, and the ends sharpened. Click one of the two videos on your screen right now.